In this tutorial, we will be walking through the process of retargeting animation from a deep motion Animate 3D default character onto an Unreal Engine mannequin. The animations we will be importing are generated from the Deep Motion Animate 3D web service. Animate 3D is an AI-powered motion capture solution by Deep Motion that turns videos that you can find online or capture from a personal camera and turns them into a 3D animation, ready to download in a few minutes. It's free to sign up with free monthly recurring animation time and unlimited downloads. Moving on to our Unreal Engine 4 walkthrough. For step one, we are going to first generate our Animate 3D animation. If you have already done this, you can skip ahead to step six. Once you're logged into the Deep Motion portal, you're going to go to Animate 3D, then click on Create, and then select 3D Animation. Here, we will be using the default character option since I will be showing you how to retarget the default Animate 3D animation directly in Unreal Engine. That said, Animate 3D does allow you to create custom avatars or even upload your own characters. You can check out our other tutorials if you're interested in those features. Next, you're going to go ahead and find and upload a source video that you're going to use for your animation. Be sure that you follow the video capture guidelines below to generate your best animation possible. We have a demo video on our channel that walks you through the various guidelines for further support. Once you find or capture your own video, upload it and double check your output settings. The important things to note here is that the FBX output is turned on as this will be the animation file that we'll be using in Unreal Engine. Another setting you might want to consider is the physics filter setting, which will help prevent your character's mesh from intersecting. Other options that you can explore with a subscription include animation smoothing, which helps remove jitters, foot locking settings for better foot contact depending on the motion, and speed multiplier, which allows you to capture slow-mo videos. Face tracking is available with our freemium plan. Be sure to check out our face tracking FAQ to learn about the specific blend shape setup. Next, you'll want to turn on root joint at origin. This is a new setting that was specifically created to help retarget animations in Unreal Engine. This will place the root joint at the origin of the character instead of at the pelvis of the character. Once you're ready to go, go ahead and create your animation. Here, you can double check all of your settings and you can click start job to begin processing the animation. The animation generation should only take a few minutes with default options selected. After it's finished, you can take a look at how your animation turned out in the previewer. Once you're ready, you can download your animation. Again, we're using the FBX output. Once downloaded, you'll see that there are two outputs, one with a T-pose on the first frame and one without. We are going to use the one without the T-pose. Now we're ready to go back to Unreal Engine. Once you've switched over, we are going to load the Unreal Engine 4 third person package. You can load this by selecting the third person template from the project browser. Once loaded, you will find the mannequins under content, mannequin, character, mesh. Now let's go ahead and load the mannequin into the scene. Let's go ahead and click on the mannequin we want. Once you see that it has loaded correctly, go ahead and create a folder to load our asset into. To do this, go to content, right click, and click new folder. I'm going to go ahead and name it DM. Now we're ready to import our Animate 3D animation into the new DM folder. Select the female file without the T-pose. You can just drag and drop it from your export folder directly into this folder. First, if this is the first time you are importing this character, make sure that the skeleton is set to none. This will create a new skeletal asset for this model. Next, make sure that Import Animations is selected, then click Import. After we import, we can now see that our character shows up as well as the animation. If you click on it, you can see the high kick animation we chose. We will need to prepare both our imported character and our target character for retargeting. For step nine, we are going to set up our imported character first. To set up the deep motion character that was imported with the animation, go ahead and double click on the skeleton of this character. You should see the window open with the retarget manager. We are going to want to go down to the setup rig and select the correct rig to use for our character. Go ahead and select the humanoid rig. You can see that an automatic mapping is generated, which you'll see as a standard humanoid bone mapping. In theory, you would do this by hand, select the joint and then select the correct mapping. If you want to experience this, you can go ahead and do that. However, if you're looking for a quick solution, we have provided both a UE4 
and UE5 bow mapping files for our deep motion characters. You're going to want to make sure that the version you are using has root in it. Note that the version you are using may be older than the current version of Unreal Engine, however, it should still work. To add this automatic bow mapping file, you're going to want to first add it to your project folder. To do this, go back to your content browser and right click on any asset and select show in Explorer. This will open up your project file where you'll want to copy over the bow mapping file we have provided. You will see that the file should appear immediately in your content browser if it was copied over correctly. Now, let's go back to our skeleton window within the retargeting manager. Go down under the setup brick section and click the load button. You should now see the bone mapping file that we just copied over in this location. Once loaded, you can see that all the bones are now correctly mapped. You can scroll down and then also go to show advanced to see more bones particularly how the fingers also mapped over. One last edit to make in this window is to go up to the preview scene settings. You want to make sure that you have preview mesh set up, so just go ahead and click on apply to asset to complete the step. Now that we have our input character mapped correctly, let's take a look at our UE4 mannequin skeleton. Go to the mannequin folder in the content browser, click character, then mesh, then double click to open the mannequin skeleton. The bone mapping is already correct for this character, so we don't need to worry about that. And also here, you will want to make sure that the preview mesh is also set up. Now, you can see that this character is in an A pose and our imported animate 3D character is in a T pose. In order for the retargeting to work, we need to match the poses of our characters. The easiest way to do this is to change the mannequin A pose to a T pose. To do this, go to your mannequin character and click on the skeleton tree where you can easily see all of your joints. From here, we are going to want to move the shoulder joint up, so select underarm L, go over to the details tab, select world War rotation and input 0, 0, 0, and you should see the arm flatten out. Now go to the elbow joint, which is lower arm L, go to world rotation and also make it 0, 0, 0. This straightens out the rest of the arm. Let's go ahead and near that for the other arm. Select upper arm R and do the same process. Select world rotation and set to zero, zero, zero. You can see that our arm flipped upside down due to changing the world rotation. So let's go ahead and flip that back by setting 180 degrees. Then to the lower arm R and change to zero, zero, zero. After we straighten the arms, we are also going to need to straighten the fingers. If you take a look back at our deep motion character, you can see that the skeleton has straight fingers. To do this, you're going to want to select each finger joint and set them to 0, 0, 0. This will flatten them out. We have included the full process in real time, so go ahead and fast forward if you don't need to see the full process.
Once you are finished, we now need to save this pose. To do this, go to the Retarget Manager, go down to the bottom to Manage Retarget Base Pose, and click on Modify Pose, and then Use Current Pose, then Save. Now that this default pose is fixed, let's go back to our UE4 mannequin. Now lastly, we need to make sure that the Translation Animation Retargeting Mod is set up correctly for each joint. To change these settings, go to the skeleton tree, click on Options, and then Show Retargeting Options. On the right, you can now see the translation retargeting for each joint. All the joints except the pelvis will be set to Skeleton, and the pelvis will be set to Animation Scaled. More information about this can be found with UE4 documentation. To change these, let's go ahead and select all the children of the pelvis, meaning that the joints that collapse on our knee, right click, then select recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. Then for the pelvis, you can use a drop down to set to animation scaled. For the root, we don't have any animation data for it, so it's fine to just be left alone. These other ones are IK controllers for the hands and feet, so we don't need to do anything to them. You can leave them be. Great, now we're ready for retargeting. Find your animation that you imported, right click on it and select retarget anim assets. Then over to Duplicate Anim Assets and Retarget. The Select Skeleton window should appear. Your mannequin skeleton should show here so you can go ahead and select it. Next, we are going to need to choose a folder to put this retargeted animation in. Go down and select Change. And then here you can create a new folder. Just right click to create a new one. I'm calling mine Retargeted. And now go ahead and click retarget. You should be able to see now that your animation has retargeted correctly. And that's it for this tutorial. We are excited to be able to support Unreal Engine users and hope that Animate3D helps support your projects. You can sign up free with monthly recurring animation time and unlimited downloads.